Welcome to the Paygate PayWeb WP e-commerce plugin setup video. What you're going to do is you're going to need to head over to the GitHub Paygate page and go to the releases page of the PayWeb WP e-commerce repository and you're going to download this WP e-commerce 3.13.1 Paygate PayWeb 3 plugin 1.0.3 at the time of recording. Your version may be a bit different. After you've downloaded it, you're going to save it to a location that you know. It's convenient to extract. Yeah, I've got it on the desktop. I'm just going to extract it. On Windows 10, you should be able to extract it as well quite easily. And earlier versions of Windows may require an unzipping program, which you can find on the internet. Okay, so here's the installation instructions. For step one, we must extract the contents of above mentioned zip file to your preferred location on your computer. This can be done using unzipping applications such as WinZip and many others. But for a complete list of suitable applications and programs, simply search the internet for unzipping application. This process should create a number of files and folders at the location you choose to extract them to. And that has done exactly that. We've got this instructional PDF and we've got the zip file. Okay, so let's move on to step two. Log on to your WordPress admin panel. Go to plugins, add new, upload plugin. So let's do that. We are, here we are on our WordPress admin backend. We're gonna go to plugins, add new. And then upload plugin, which will be somewhere near the top here. Upload plugin. We're going to click choose file and select the zip file. This, we must make sure that we select the lowercase zip file, not the, the uppercase. So we go to the directory that was extracted and select the zip file that is in the same folder or directory as the PDF. We're going to click open. Then we're going to say install now. This is going to upload. While it's doing that, we're going to see um, here it says click choose file and find WP e-commerce gateway paygate.zip in the unzip folder. We've done that. Click install now. We've done that. And then click activate plugin. So we're going to do that step quickly. It's installed. So we're going to hit that activate plugin button. Now it says log into the WordPress admin area and navigate to the settings store page. Once there, select the Payments tab where you'll notice Paygate is available. In order to add Paygate as a payment method, simply tick the checkbox to the left of the Paygate payment method and click the Save Changes button found below. In order to configure your plugin, simply click the Settings link below the Paygate payment method, enter your preferred data into each field and click the Update button found below. So let's give this a shot. So we're going to go to settings, store. We're going to go to the payments tab, like it said. Under store payments, we're going to select the Paygate plugin. We're going to deselect manual payment gateway or whichever payment gateways you have enabled if you don't need them. We go down to the bottom here, we click save changes. This is going to activate the Paygate plugin. We can now say settings. And here we can change the display name. Here's the default Paygate ID and key for test gateways. And then you can also select your email field. So there's a number of fields. So you just hit that email button if it's not there. And you click update. In theory, the payment gateway should now be set up. But let's give it a quick test. I've added a test product on the checkout. This is just the default page it's not stylized so it may look a little bit ugly but yeah this is just for an example we click purchase here it redirects to paygate and as you can see the payment gateway is configured correctly 